Tick tock goes the clock. Anime cutscenes. That means something important's about Ant. to happen. Have you ever woken up with bugs crawling all over you? Because I have. It's not fun. <laughs> uh, it depends on the type of bug. I never had ants. I had a silver bug. Just the creepy crawly feeling is just fake. <laughs> That's what happens when you leave sweets on the floor. Don't do it. Ugh. Now, now, normally I, I treat girls being afraid of bugs in 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 um in uh shows and games and stories as kind of stereotypical. But to be honest, I'd be freaking out if there were that many ants on my foot too. <laughs> Do any of you guys have the nerve to stomp on a bug what barefoot? Cake? Well, who did you get this from? Um, I'm not hearing an immediate answer, so I'm going to assume no! <laughs> I don't really like crushing bugs at all, to be honest. I normally try to pick them up on a on like a napkin and let them outside or something. Wait, really? Why? I don't know, it I, I've got a question why she assumed that she got that he got that cake from someone. Because there's a big purple heart on it. <laughs> well, you know, I don't care what the packaging comes in as long as the cake's good. Uh, also, I'm, I'm pretty sure, uh, I'm pretty sure, like, giving cake to a boyfriend or girlfriend is, is, is more, like, common in Japan. So, one of those things that doesn't 100% translate. It's like Christmas Eve in Japan is traditionally a night you spend with your girlfriend eating cake. Is that eating quick cake with the quotation marks or not quotation marks? Or both? No, actually, as in literal cake. Like, it, it, like if you play the Persona games, Christmas Eve is is an event that you spend with your girlfriend, yeah, because that's that's it's like a valent it's like a secondary Valentine's Day in Japan, really. Well, can you eat cake after you eat cake? I suppose. But yeah, a uh, fun fact about that, there's an old expression in Japan, unsold Christmas cake. Basically, uh, unmarried women that are age 26 or older. Yeah, I I've heard that term before. Yeah, I know that because, because you know, of TV tropes. <laughs> because uh, because uh, December 26th is the day after Christmas, you get it? <laughs> yeah. Anyway. See, I always found that so negative. You know, the, the day after Christmas was not something that brought sorrow it was the day i spent all my gift cards well i think the idea is more that nobody will eat the cake the day after christmas just because you know. yeah it, because it because it's out of date uh you know I, it, it's kind of a kind of a sexist thing really well yeah true can you tell vincent's not getting enough sleep by the shadows under his eyes he's had those since day one mm, well it's just three model I don't think they've been as pronounced until this day. What did you hear? It's like, in, in the Waking Day cutscenes, Vincent does get slightly more frazzled toward the end of the game. Like, his hair gets more unkempt and everything. Well, his hair has been unkempt the entire time. Although, I guess that's just partially the afro. You know, if he had a more traditional hairstyle, I think it would be easier to tell if it was, like, less... Um, well groomed and stuff. Like I said, I don't know any Steves. Well, how could you not? I mean, Steve's, a <laughs> Steve's a pretty common name, sort of like Catherine. You see, I know two of those, and oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the credits. I did meet a Steve yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday? My friend's son was named Steve. I think. I think. You don't remember what your friend's son was named. Um, two come back Who spends two check. months in the hospital after giving birth? Um. Like, normally you're only there for, like, a couple days tops, unless it's I something... I don't think, I don't think, like, literally just came back from the hospital, but I, I don't know. It depends on a well, I think situation. In like, if, Sometimes it can get complicated. Well, yeah, true, but if everything, hopefully everything went well, you're only there for like a day or two tops before they kick you out. You know, they probably uh, need to use the bed for someone else at some point. What are you getting at? Eh, it might vary in Japan, actually. I'm not sure. 
So we're actually going to start moving somewhere with the story after a cutscene like this, because this is obviously where you start questioning things. Yeah. Things get, things get, uh, creepy. Well, does this... it involve the girl in the background with the cell phone? <laughs> no. No, it does not. Okay. Oh. Well, there was this other Catherine with a um, H that I was cheating with too, but they both have H's. <laughs> I, you know, uh, when, when, the the reason I don't like slipping into the chaos meter for those particular inner monologues where the meter shows up is that when you do that Vincent always thinks in terms of oh geez I gotta play this off I gotta play this off and that makes me feel like a real douchebag rather than just someone who's inept at dealing with things well I guess it just depends on how you interpret his character uh, I suppose well does he even like veer towards the chaotic side even when you've been trying to be like lawful the entire playthrough uh no um if you're in like the really neutral area or in the blue he'll always he'll always have the same dialogue as if you had full law but uh it, you, you have to be in the red to get the real douchebag thoughts so like conversations like this this is all this always plays out the same or does it depend on the, the conversations themselves always play off the play out the same it's only those inner monologues where the camera zooms in on his, on his eye and the meter shows up yeah where where you get a different dialogue if you're chaos i've been getting strange texts lately she never elaborates on this ever she mentions it when she figures out that you're cheating with Catherine C, uh, but apart from that, it's it's never mentioned why she gets those texts or what they say. That seems to be, um, that happens uh, a lot in Atlas games, or at least I know it happens occasionally in Atlas games. Like in Trauma Team, there are a handful of plot uh, things that are just sort of dropped after some point that they never fully explain. Um, in Persona 3, there was this whole revenge website thing that's mentioned twice and then never never actually comes up anywhere. Like, you know, some things are I can I can I can accept just sort of being there as like world building and stuff, but things that sound like they should be plot important do need to have some sort of closure at some point. Yeah. Right? Yes, they do. I know we brought up uh, well, at least Lewis brought up the whole the way Catherine with the K brings up, like she's pretty passive aggressive, but there's also a, a a a lot of indifference going on in terms of both sides of the story here. Like nobody really wants to go out of their way to get deep into what's going on here. Well, it's an uncomfortable conversation, so it's understandable. Well, there are a couple. They're supposed to handle that. <laughs> well, just because yes. they're supposed to do that doesn't mean that they're going to. You know, uh, look. If if they could communicate effectively, they would have been married well before five years passed. Yeah. Why don't you just tell or they would have broken up well before five years passed. Whichever. Basically, uh, uh, they I, would I, have I, sorted this shit out by now. I see this. I see this. I see this. I see these conversations they have. I see these cutscenes. I'm seeing the story. And the only thing I'm seeing is these are supposed to be a couple. It's like how are these? A, how are these two a couple? Ah. Yeah, it's all complicated bullshit. Basically, it comes down to the fact that some people are just stupid about their feelings. And this is where we find out something new about Catherine C. She's not really a blonde. <gasps> no, apparently, when she's hanging out with other people, she might be black. <laughs> <laughs> she can shapeshift. Wait, she might. Wait, she might be black. What? Uh, so, uh, look, w when he says you've got the wrong Catherine, he what he says in the dub version is the Catherine I know. She's white. Uh, he probably says something like she's Japanese or she's got blonde hair in the actual translation. Uh, in the actual, not translation. No, but no. Well, well, hold on. Version, he, she's black to tutorial, dude. What? She might just be foreign. I'm not sure. It, it, it's one of those things that's definitely d different in the Japanese version because they're not going to say she, the Catherine I know is white. 
Well, does she, like, change her appearance, or what? She's a succubus. She appears differently to everyone. Oh. She basically appears as your your ideal dream girl. Innermost desires. Mm-hmm. Basically, exactly your type. Like, earlier on, uh, Fedora and Vincent were having a conversation, and Vincent says, she's not your type, and she, he says, how do you know that? And he, and he just responds, because she's my type. <laughs> Haven't you heard the rumor, she asks. Yes, we've heard the rumor. You've mentioned it every night since the start of the game. <laughs> There are no rumors in the world of Atlas. No, there's no rumors in the world of uh, RPGs, period. If something, no, if there's no, a rumor... there are plenty of rumors. In fact, the second Persona game was all about them. Oh. You, you spread rumors, and they became real. Exactly! Yeah, but, rumors but exactly. are rumors always but, end up being true yeah, in video games. That's, that's just going into my point. They're not rumors anymore. They're, they're real. <laughs> no, it's like, like Hitler was the final boss of Persona 2 Innocent Sin because there was a rumor that he was still alive. <laughs> Who thinks of this shit? Atlas. <laughs> Persona 2 was all about perceptions and reality. It was. It has a really good story, but its gameplay is dated as hell. Tell me about oh no, don't say that, then the fanboys will rage at you. Oh, I'm saying it now. It's dated. Oh no, no, no. Per Persona fans will usually acknowledge that. It Persona 2's gameplay and Persona 1's gameplay are not... They haven't aged well at all. Um, oh, okay, oh yeah, I had a question that was relevant to the game we're actually commentating on. Um, how do you get into the dream? Because one of the dudes mentioned last part that they didn't actually cheat on anyone, so... What determines that you turn into a sheep and start climbing stuff? We'll find that out in spoilery cutscenes. <laughs> oh. That's kind. Maybe the guy was lying. Maybe it's just someone else who has a douchebaggy fedora. <laughs> but no, not everyone who who enters the dream is necessarily a cheater. Like, uh... Erica, she's not cheating on anybody. So, yeah. Not really sure what the, what the reason she started having the dream was, because that is never explained. So Vincent will still say this even if he's gone full chaos at this point. Oh yeah, he's he he um the only time where it's ambiguous about which Catherine he's batting for is at the very end where he'll say Catherine and the subtitles very ambiguously do not include the name itself, so it could be either. What is this? What is, what is that word in this hat? That's right. Let's get to drinking while we're thinking. The yeah? Yeah, it says yeah. Hey, it makes <laughs> Hey! It, Hey, Phoenix writes uh, Hobo Hat and Apollo Justice's Papa on it. Papa? Yeah, it does. <laughs> I, I think it does. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta look up Hobo Nick and uh, check. Now, I think I only spend a certain amount of time in the bar this time. And that's how I conquered the Martians. <laughs> if you excuse me, I gotta conquer something else. <laughs> The jukebox? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe we're going to conquer Eggman's face tonight. <laughs> oh, so this is what they were talking about. Yeah, it says Papa. Which I guess is, um, at least applicable. Because... Is he a father? Yeah, well, he adopts Trucy right by that point in this game story. Ah, uh, I see. So, he's at least an adopted father. Adoptive so which politics. do you hate more, politics or economics? Well, at this if point, they're politics, basically the same thing. <laughs> if, if you hate politics, you're a law. If you hate economics, you're chaos. Can Try I to hate both? That one out. I hate both. <laughs> yeah, but which one do you hate more? Well, at this point, nobody ever talks about anything but economics and politics anyway, so... Ah, but here's the thing. If you're more if you're more bothered by economics, you're probably thinking about your own financial concerns. If you're more bothered by politics, you're probably thinking about the way laws affect people in general. So you're you thinking more in broad terms. Yeah. Uh, well, there's that, too. <laughs> <laughs> but just in general terms, it's, it's more... You're thinking more about the larger scheme of things if you're thinking about politics. Or at least in theory. If you're you could you could be concerned about 
economics and be thinking about the larger scheme. Uh, let's see, did anyone die tonight? Let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Nicholas Clark. Nicholas Clark, too bad. He never grew up to be a Superman. Uh, Archie, no! <laughs> Archie's dead. Betty and Veronica will be so upset. <laughs> now they only have Jughead. <laughs> oh, who liked Jughead? <laughs> They really wanted people to like Jughead. I'm pretty sure he has his own comic or had one at some point. I interviewed another woman today for a different story. She's pregnant, but she's marrying a man who isn't the father of. I wonder if this could possibly be relevant to Vincent's current dilemma. Dilemma. Nope. Why? She doesn't actually know who the father is. So among all the possible fathers, she went to uh. the kindest and the dullest. He'll raise the baby, believing it to be his child. Hmm. That's actually a kind of a complex moral situation right there. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Well... Yeah. I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, okay. This music, is, this music is oddly loud. <laughs> what? It's because we're trying to converse over vocals. Uh, what Persona song is this? This is the intro to uh, Persona 3 Portable. Oh. It's called Soul Phrase. Uh, commonly mispronounced as Soul Phase. I'm not really sure why. But, in any case, more text messaging. Get lost, Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> the 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 background beat to this song uh, reminds me of um, the boss theme from Persona 3 Portable. If you're the girl, um, uh, yeah, I think the um, the new tracks for Persona 3 Portable were done by a, a, a different uh, composer from the uh, original OST. So I'm not sure. Like when I, uh, I might be thinking of something else though. Do you unlock uh, songs as you go along, or they, you just have all songs in jukebox to begin with? Oh, uh, well, I explained this in an earlier part, but uh, every song is linked to a trophy, and when you get it, when you get each trophy, you get a uh, that song unlocks. So you need to purposefully get bronze trophies to unlock songs. Or... No, not trophies in game. Trophies as in achievements. Oh, all right. Have you gotten yeah. all the achievements? No. So you don't know that, what that would last involve time. beating hard mode <laughs> and beating Babel. And now that day has come. Trophy completion in this game takes a long time. At least it's not trophy completion in Final Fantasy XIII. Oh, great, a picture that says she's excited. Okay, I'm going to just leave that for the bathroom again. So how drunk does Vincent need to be before he start, she starts telling Anna that Anna spelled backwards as Anna? <laughs> so have you ever done an alcoholic an Alcoholics Anonymous uh, run of this game? <laughs> Alcoholics Anonymous? You mean like not drinking? Yeah. Yeah. But you're always at least slightly drunk. Wafting. Love is a drug. <laughs> Vincent doesn't have a sponsor yet. Give him time. Uh. Oh, this is one of those ones where you layer colored drinks. You cannot mix them, for all, or else it will detonate. No, but it'll look ugly when you mix it. I don't care how it looks, if, as long as it tastes better. Mixing it will ruin the effect. And if you don't mix it, it stays... I get the feeling that this is one of those cocktails that was just made by someone who was extremely bored one night. And and then they looked at the cup and they're like, oh, trippy. <laughs> I shall make a patent. Empty? What would you like now? You haven't ordered sake yet. Right I haven't He's ordered whiskey anything every time. But, court, but cocktails and whiskey. 
I probably should have gone with, with sake, though, because not many people know anything about sake in America or the West, or, and it would have been more interesting trivia. Are you ever going to choose sake? No. Oh, our first real date. Yeah, this is the point at which it gets really hard to tell the girl you're cheating on that you're cheating on with cheating with her because you've been... Oh. Um, nice. Okay. Uh, Thank you're you. You're doing it wrong, Catherine. You're supposed to put the bow on top of the present. Maybe she yes. is the present. That's In so which case, she forgot, I'm not the, following. she forgot the <laughs> gift wrap. She forgot the gift wrap. She's still doing it wrong. <laughs> Just respond. I don't get it. <laughs> but anyway, er, er, every hair, every hair on protagonist ever. <laughs> you see, you see, text you messages dense, like dense that. Motherfucker. <laughs> text messages like that are like humongous slaps in the face. Like you should have told her straight up the first night that you are dating someone because now it's going to be awkward. <laughs> well, since uh, you're never going to show off uh, sake, uh, I will read this very quick definition. Uh, courtesy of Wikipedia. Sake is an alcoholic beverage of Japanese origin that is made from fermented rice. Sake is sometimes called rice wine, but the brewing process is more akin to beer, converting starch to sugar for the fermentation process. In the Japanese language, the word sake, or liquor, also pronounced shu, generally refers to any alcoholic drink, while the beverage called sake in English is usually termed ni nihon shu, or Japanese liquor. Under Japanese liquor law, sake is labeled with the word sishu, or clear liquor, a synonym less commonly used colloquially. Colloquially. I think I'm drunk myself. Colloquially. 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 In other so if I drink from my shoe, I'll get drunk? <laughs> Not that sort of shoe. <laughs> Fun with languages. Wait, isn't that a German beer? Or am I thinking of something else? No, a, 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 a boot. A glass boot. There you go. Yeah, the glass boot. Yeah. <laughs> and then when it comes to proposing, he gets all indecisive. Yeah, he, he hasn't straightened his shit, up, shit out yet. He, he's in that phase where he's just... Where he's saying determined-sounding things right before bed. And then he wakes up feeling lazy again. Oh, that's oh, me so every it's day. The, yeah, so I was about to say, it's the feeling you get when you go to sleep. I'm going to turn my life around tomorrow, get plenty of exercise, study hard, and then when morning comes, it's like, hey. Who am I? And that's when you remember that you're a horrible, horrible morning, morning person. <laughs> I noticed the two old ladies behind Vincent are still always are always doing their talking animation, even if they're not talking to you. Well, they could be conversing with each other, but they're staring at your back. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, that's kind of creepy, actually. I smell gossip. Uh, this is the conversation where they talk about who has the high score in the game. Hmm. Apparently, Johnny likes to play. Toby never goes into the dream, right? No. Oh. He's the only one at this table who doesn't get it. If anything, he's the uh, he in his relationship. He's the one being uh, being lied to, I suppose. But uh, that is not a situation they ever really touch on beyond the humor value, quote unquote. God damn! What does that? What does that even mean? I mean, I know that means. I mean, I know that means like. One hundred and ninety really. proof means it'll fuck you up. <laughs> is yeah. That, is that like one glass will make you like uh, a shot will fuck you up? And they apparently they don't actually drink it; they dip fruit in it. Okay, well hold on. I just need some comparisons' uh, sake. Like, what's a normal glass of beer proof? Uh, beer is actually, um, if I recall correctly, low on al uh, alcohol proof. Uh, let me uh, actually let me do that. Do some research for you. Because again, I'm not I'm not a big drinker. I'm a social drinker. Well, I'm so. I'm a not drinker, so I know absolutely. Well, you're not 21 yet. <laughs> Same. Well, though not being 21 doesn't have anything to do with it. If I wanted alcohol, I'm sure I could find some, but I just don't because I like following the rules. Because I'm 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 lame. 
Lawful, lawful good. Lawful, well, good, maybe. Uh, that's debatable, but lawful, sure. I'm semi-neutral lawful. You see, I follow the laws, but I'm not about to commit genocide for them. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, if you were trying to interrogate your boyfriend via text message um, about whether or not they're cheating on you, and they sent you a really heartfelt message, would that be more suspicious or less suspicious? <laughs> Probably more, honestly, if I if I was think. Um, although that might just be me because I always assume that uh, something um, that something people are always out to get me. I might have a problem. You might. Uh, just for comparison's sake, from what I've researched, uh, in terms of alcoholic content in beers, it's three to ten percent. Three. So wait, one ninety proof means it's a hundred. Hundred and ninety percent. How is that even what? Pro uh, what? Uh, let how, me, do you, um, how does one hundred and ninety percent even happen? Let me see, because well, I mean, uh, it, it, again, it, the, the guy was saying it's one hundred and ninety proof. It's the strongest spirit in the world. Okay, hold on. An alcoholic proof. Uh, I'm am just trying to find an example, um, uh, and I'm getting all of this math. It shit. looks like there's a difference between alcoholic content and proof. Yeah, 100 pursuit. Okay, consequently, 100 proof whiskey contains 50 percent alcohol by volume. So. So it'd be like 90 percent. Play video 99. games all night long. I don't believe it. A game is actually telling me to play all night instead of telling me to take 15 minute breaks all the time. I'm sorry, Lewis, but we have to end this commentary so you can take a break and go outside. Yeah. I emotionally connect with this game now. <laughs> oh, that's not what I heard. I heard he was really bad. <laughs> Why, what does Archie, what did Archie do? Did he cheat on both v Betty and Veronica? Archie was, the, Archie was the one who was constantly, you know, uh, you know, uh, hooking up with girls just to specifically break their hearts. Oh, so he's an asshole. So, so it's Archie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nope. Okay, it's time for actual gameplay. Has Vincent wore the same shirt all week? Laundry yes. man. Yes, he has. <laughs> Laundry. Or maybe he has six copies of the same shirt. He, he <laughs> might actually. I think I saw um, multiple shirts in his in his apartment. Because he hangs them up right across from his bed. Right next to his underwear. 